Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. I'm meteorologist Shay Ryan with an update on our forecast, including the tropics. So we now have subtropical storm Alberto. It is going to be moving just brushing over the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula here over the next uh, 24 hours, and then it's going to be heading north into the Gulf. As that happens, it is going to strengthen and organize. It is getting close to being a cat one storm as it approaches uh, the northern Gulf, where it will make move inland and then uh, and then turn and then start to dissipate as expected. Now, as it continues to make its northerly track across the Gulf, it is going to be bringing some heavy rain to our area. In fact, as we look at the updated rain totals that are projected through about Monday morning, you can see there's a chance for over four inches of rain in some coastal areas. At this point, it's projected south of Tampa Bay. We could see these totals moving depending on the direct path of this storm. So again, we'll continue to update that. Bottom line is we've got a good round of showers and storms this afternoon, your typical summer like variety. Tomorrow morning, we start off on the dry side as long as the track of Alberto remains the same as what it is right now. And then through the afternoon, we'll at least have a chance for some showers and storms. The best chance is going to be along the coastline. But again, right now, if this verifies, we'll have a fairly dry afternoon on Saturday. On Sunday, though, we could see more rainfall developing across the area. So again, we are still looking at at least the chance for some heavy precip over the next couple of days as that storm continues to move north across the Gulf. And then after we get beyond Monday, we'll start to see those rain chances coming down.